Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of God Concept. I'm your host, Mr. Pagan. Sunday morning episode, how you doing? Feeling good this morning, feeling great. You know, I'm taking a break today. I'm going to take a break, you know, get some R&R, &R and really uh, meditate and relax. Because the current events that have been going on, you know, me having to make calls and trying to, you know, uh, you know, cut off loose ties and things like that is really exhausting. So I'm going to just chill, you know, probably uh, do some more literature work on my book. I want you um, tonight. my books oh, lady, give me this um, Come up with more You know More ideas more, more ideas More you know Inspirations Girl, and things of that nature Girl, you, got me you know falling. See if I can come up Girl, with some you more You know Good products so for everybody Good uh, literature and music Yeah man That's what it's so about Girl, You know You try to reach out to people You try to You know Right Let people sky. you know Girl, is you and oh, I, Whatever I can't deny It is what it is You know what I mean What, what eyes, I realize is baby, You're born in this world alone You're going to die in this fucking world alone man. At the end of the fucking day You know um, Girl, I love your sweet Girl, We don't really falling, falling, we, we, we really girl, rely falling, on outside falling, you know, you know falling, sources too falling, much you know, for for our uh, daily wants and needs, or you know what I mean, this or that. Fuck all that, dude. You know what I mean? The highest levels of success that I've achieved has been in solitude. The the most creative things that I've created has been in solitude. You know, a lot of people, a lot of a lot of us don't take time to really sit back and meditate, reflect on our life, and really try to understand what's going and get a deeper comprehension of everything that's going on, you know, especially when things come to light, when things come to fruition. You know, we only really try to take inventory of our life and the things that's going on when shit is going wrong. You know, personally, you know, I look at my anniversary date as a new beginning. The 20th is my anniversary date. You know, my personal anniversary date A lot of people call it birthdays And so forth and so on It's my personal anniversary date um, It's a date where I get to reflect on my life And you know You know Reflect on you know being blessed To actually make it to see another year Like you know what I mean um, and new beginnings You know Your birthday is the mark Of a new beginning A new you You know A new time You know So Yeah That's what That's what it's about That's what it's You know That's what life is about Elevating You know Moving out of one situation Into a new situation And things of that nature You know I just wish that, you know, you know, not even wish. I'm I'm so grateful that I'm on the path that I'm on and, and on the journey that I'm on. You know, glad that I get to experience this. I'm glad that I get to show show my kids how you uh how you how you try to build something, how you build something. You know what I mean? How you actually move from one aspect of of, of life to another. You know, and it's a shame that, you know, people in our atmosphere, in our community, in our in our life, you know, through our family, through our friends or whoever, you know, they don't they don't always accept that change in you, man. They don't. They don't always they don't even see the possibility for anybody to change and, and start, you know, it's, it's weird because a lot of people won't even see that you're really veering off and you're trying something new and you're doing things differently. You know, I've been doing things differently for a while, you know, and 
you know, me trying to, trying to, you know, put my, put my train on a different track. You know what I mean? How black sheep saying they song. If my train goes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on the scene, crispy and clean. Nah, nah, but when I intervene, that was my shit. Yeah, man, that's how it is. You gotta, you gotta pick that train up and put it on a different track sometimes, man. You know? I'm the type of guy, I really don't like stepping on nobody's toes. I don't be doing none of that stuff, man. I stay in my own lane. I mind my motherfucking business and I relax. But you know, people will purposely step on your fucking toes. You know, people will purposely try to take you under for, for reasons unbeknownst to me. You know? And once you're aware of that, man, you gotta act accordingly and, and do the appropriate thing to uh pop that fucking pimple. You know what I mean? You gotta pop the pimple sometimes. You know, so right now, I'm in the process of popping a couple pimples and uh, you know what I mean, trying to still maintain and be positive and, you know, maintain uh my peace of mind. You know, without, you know, going off the edge and going over the deep end. But yeah, man, the plot thickens. The plot thickens for these books, for this music, man. I'm going to just keep on rocking and rolling and doing me. And ain't nobody going to stop that. You know, really, the only thing that could stop that, if, uh, if this city or municipality tried to take me under from some... uh for some sheer coincident, coincidental reason or something like that. You know, I don't fucking know. But man, this shit, living in the city, bro, it's like twisted fate. You know what I mean? Everything is connected without you knowing sometimes. Everybody's connected without you knowing sometimes. People, people build a lie about who they are. Like, people build up a lie about who they fucking are, man. And it's a shame because you can know a person their whole fucking life and never realize they're a different person. You know, Earth, Wind & Fire got a song called Masquerade. The whole world is a masquerade. Everybody, everybody wears another face. The whole world is a masquerade. Everybody, everybody wears another face. Just like a masquerade. Just like a masquerade. And that's how it is out here, man. You got, you got people wearing double faces. You know what I mean? You got people living fake lives. You got people who, who hold goal or scheme of life. It's a scheme on you. You know what I mean? They try to plot on what you have. They'll, they'll go through nefarious ways of, of, of getting what you have. If, if you, you know what I mean? If you're not aware, man, you know, a lot of people aren't aware, but you know, <sighs> There's a larger forces at play, man. There are larger forces at play. Everything's connected. These people can, ugh, these people can manipulate your mind in ways. And when they can manipulate your mind in ways, they can manipulate your soul or your personality, your character. They can manipulate your emotions like for instance i'm gonna give you an example our women right our women can make us lie steal kill hurt you know do very dishonorable things man you know our women get possessed sometimes by men and a lot of times our men get possessed by women man you know, I've been on a hiatus of not really trying to uh, deal with the opposite sex too much. 
you know, I don't, I don't want to deal with any sex, period, but I don't, I'm not putting myself out there. I'm not looking for anybody and I don't want to be looked for, you know, because I have a lot of building and rebuilding to do within my life, not just for me, but for my kids' sake, you know, and a lot of times the people in our life don't want to see us rebuild. The people in our life don't want to see us to get better and work towards, you know, certain goals and values and things of that nature. The people in our very life that we, you know, trust and we hold near and dear to us sometimes will be the very people that's holding us back from getting to that next level of, of discovering us, you know, of discovering who you are and living a better life and really striving to do more with your life. You know, you got people that come into your life under the guise of goodness and grace, but for real, they're just there to, you know, destroy and tear down, you know, demolition. Seriously, man, men and women. So please be careful. You know, if I could give any message out there to anybody, it's just, you know, make sure you know that when your kids leave the house, nobody out there fucking love them. Let them know that the only people that really love them is in their household. Because to be honest, whenever you go outside and you look outwardly, because your house is a representative of you. Your house is a representative of, you know, your unity in your household. Is, that's where unity begins. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times the, the, the false teaching and morals and values that we have starts in the household. So if you have a unified household, you know, you're more ready to combat the world. Not only uniform household, an informed household, you know, more uh, ready to combat the world. But a lot of times um, what happens is we go out here, we get involved with people, we get in relationships with people, and we, you know, we have fun and we mingle and shit like that. And we don't even realize that a lot of times the people that we're meeting and mingling with are the very people that's going to ultimately be a downfall. I mean, if you're meeting and mingling with party, I mean, with people partying with them of a lower stature than you, I'm not talking about money or none of that. I'm talking about on a morals and values level. You know what I mean? Because you could be a person of greater morals and values and be around people with money. You know what I mean? And just because they have more money than you don't mean that they're, you know, better than you in any way. If you have greater morals and values, you are the asset. More than likely, you're there so they can gain somehow from off of what you have in you. You know what I mean? They want their morals and values to rub off on them. Yeah, they got the money, but you got the the real shit. You know what I mean? You got the intellect. You got the spirit. You got the, you know what I mean? Whatever you got, you know? And that's how it is a lot of times. Um, You know, and, and vice versa. You know, just because you got, you know, you might not have any money or whatever, but it's a person that has a lot of money, but you're, you know, of a higher stature. You can't, you know, it's like, you know, even if you have morals and values and a person have lesser money, you can't look at that person just because you have morals and values like they're lesser than you. You know what I mean? You can't do it. It's just not possible. There's nobody above anybody. There's people that pretend and, and play a role and act like they're above you. You know what I mean? Even at your jobs, every every day that we get, it's like they appoint these positions to people. And these people are not any authority over you, but you look at them as they're like, you know, like they're some type of authority figure because they have a supervisor role or they have a, you know, manager role or something like this. And you're just a cashier, but that's not the case. And that's how life is in everyday life. You know, people get looked over and, you know, shunned and shit like that just because they're not on the same level or same position, you know, and it's not, 
is not human nature. See, the real things that I wonder about in life is that, okay, I know I talk about it a lot, but, you know, a lot of people don't realize that there is a duality. People get too caught up in the physical reality of life instead of getting caught up, you know, like, okay, yeah, you can get caught up in the physical aspect of life, the beauty, the, the money, the, the what have you, the what not, right? But you also got to get caught up in the spiritual aspect of life. You know, you got to get caught up in the who I am, you know, the great I am, and getting to know you and getting close to you is getting to the is getting close to the creator. You know, and that goes also with, um, you know, procreation. Because we get caught up in this procreation shit. Everybody want to have babies. All the young girls, they see, you know, they buy them baby dolls and shit like that, you know. And it's like, we get so caught up in the procreation aspect of life. Enough people don't get caught up in the, in the, in the, in the, in the creation of your intellectual property part of life. That's the spiritual part of life. Because we are miniature creators, right? Our creator created copies of him. So a copy of the creator would have to do what? Create. A lot of people, when you read the Bible and such like this, biblical text, they say, you know, procreate, you have to have children, be fruitful and multiply, you know, be fruitful and, you know, things like that. But that's on a physical level. I mean, even when you create art, that's physical as well. But that's that's procreating on a different level. That's procreating with your mind and your spirit. And that's why they say, you know, that's why I say that you have to be in tune with this trinity of you. You know, you have the mind, the mental aspect. And your, your, your brain is the, the house for your mind. You know, that's the hardware and the software. Your, your, your body, your vessel is the house for your soul. You know, that's the hardware and the software. The body is the hardware, the soul is the software. So once you align both of those, once you align all three of those, you know, your, your, your mental, your spiritual, and your physical, you know, or even, you know, I break it down another way too. The duality, the duality of, of you, the duality of the creator, right? Because if you have a vessel, you have a soul, right? That's the duality right there. And if you have a brain, you have a mind. That's the duality right there. So you have this trinity going on, and there's a duality aspect within this trinity. So it's like a, um, if you want to say, it's like the six-pointed star of David, if you want to say. You know, because you have a a higher duality and a lower duality of this trinity of you you know and it's um it's a deep thing once you understand that and once you understand who you are understand that you have to create on different levels and a lot of times if we don't create on different levels in no type of way then um you know we we really failed our mission you know, we really, you know, fail the creator if we don't create anything or manifest anything in life, you know, but have children. You know, some of us uh, succeed through our children. We'll have kids and we'll make sure that our, that our kids follow our dreams and things like that. But if your child never see you achieve anything, then more than likely, you know, sometimes they say that, you know, is less likely for your child to achieve if you didn't achieve anything. So I'd rather take the bumps and bruises in my life to become an entrepreneur and to create and everything so that way my children can see that it's possible and that, um, that it can be done. And also I'll take the bumps and bruises in my life to ensure that my family's, you know, property and their well-being is taken care of. Because the situation that I'm going through recently, um, you know, I found out that there's some people in Philadelphia who uh, who steals houses and steal property and from people. You know what I mean? Whether that be 
items out of their house or their house. And, you know, the whole city is tied up with this shit. And really, um, you know, it's, it's something that goes, it's something that goes down and nobody knows about it really, unless you're really involved with it. And, um, I'm just fortunate enough to actually see this shit and, you know, see the plotting and scheming and all that shit going on. And I'm focused on that because I got to really make sure that these people aren't able to take, you know, property from my family, you know, and that's, you know, that's something that I'm, you know, working on right now. Um, it's, it's sad and it's a shame because the people who we trusted, who we trust, you know, is people that, you know, my grandparents trust, you know, family, friends or damn near family like damn near. But, you know, it's um, it's sad because, you know, it's all the way around. You know what I mean? They, when they when they try to do something to you like that, you know, they really get involved with different aspects of your life because you don't know that these people are plotting this shit. First of all, you don't know these people are plotting this shit. Like, I'm trying to talk all intelligent and everything. Fuck that. You don't know that these people are plotting this type of shit. So, you sitting up here, you got these people in your life, you're dealing with people on a daily fucking basis, and you don't even know that these people are really trying to get information or get shit on you or ruin your life, right? So they can steal your property. You know? And it's it's it's, it's a sad fucking thing because that puts in my mind, I can't fucking trust nobody. I can't trust anybody. You know, it's a, it's a sad fucking thing. You know? And it's people you love and it's people, you know what I mean? all over the place, you know, and it's funny because, you know, certain people like, okay, if you're not in this situation, you might not be able to tie up all the strings or whatever. You're not, you might not be able to tie all this shit together, but you know, thank God you gave me the vision to, to, to tie all this shit together. You know what I mean? And really see the, uh, the exploit, the plot that's going on and shit like that. And it's going to be an uphill battle. I know it's going to be an uphill battle because, you know, they've been aware that they're trying to plot on you and, and steal your shit or, or, you know what I mean, do, do nefarious shit behind your back. They know about it for a long fucking time. Once you find out, you got to kind of, you know, put your shield up in the midst of raining arrows. You know what I mean? That's what it's like. You know, when people are plotting on you and everything, and you find out it's like you got to put your shield up in the midst of it raining arrows. That's how I feel, man. That's how it feels, you know. And to be honest with you, I don't I don't see me ever trusting nobody else in my fucking life, man. To be honest with you, it's a sad fucking thing. It's a sad fucking thing. But I don't see me being able to trust nobody ever in my fucking life. You know, when when you've been. When you've been through the fucking ringer like I've been through the fucking ringer, I cannot see me trusting anybody. And if I was to trust anybody, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be nobody. I can't even say that. I can't say nobody in Philadelphia because I still do got people in Philadelphia that I do trust and love dearly. But, um, you know, people that help me out on a daily basis, you know, people that, you know, believe in what I do. But at the same time, you got a whole nother set of people who don't believe in what you do and don't want to see you succeed. And, you know, this is, you know, this is what they do. You know, the better you do, the worse their fucking plots get. That's how it is. It's a, it's a crab in a barrel mentality. It's a crab in a barrel like, they call it a city of brotherly love and all that shit. I guess so. But I've been here all my life. And for me to, you know, find out the things that I've found out and the, me for me to go through the things that I went through, just trying to be a good person or just trying to help people out or trying to, you know, do the right thing 
And then that, you know, that right thing that I'm trying to do get flipped over and twisted and misconstrued some fucking how is just, it's beyond me. You know, my Ha Ha Davis quote, that's beyond me, big fella. Golly, I don't, I don't get it, man. That is sorry, though. I'm maintaining. I just want to, you know, make sure my family's good. You know, I'm going to keep on creating. You know, and I'm going to just keep pushing forward. You know, to be honest with you, um, the, 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 the journey that I'm on has allowed me, has given me time and opportunity to really, um, write more books and create more music and things like that. Um, I just got so much on my mind and so much on my plate that really I'm just processing everything. You know, and putting things down and, and getting all my, uh, you know, ones and twos together, cr- crossing all my I, uh, T's and dotting all my I's, basically. And, you know, uh, yeah, taking it one step at a time, you know. You know, it, when it comes to the creative things that I want to do, those are steps that I want to take. When it comes to the steps that I got to take, And, you know, making sure that this matter comes to head, that I'm, you know, you know, (laughs) making sure that, you know, everything, you know, stays on the, on the upright and up front, you know, that's a little, you know, hard, harder steps for me to take. Cause I never, shit, I never dealt with anything like this in my life. The shit that I'm talking about is people listening probably never dealt with no shit like this in their life. To be honest with you, I'm a, I'm a wind up writing a book about this shit. Cause I never, ever dealt with no shit like this in my life. I'm wind up writing a book about the shit. I'm be honest with you. That's what I'm into now. When shit go down in my life, when shit go wrong, or you know what I mean? When shit, you know, I put out a book. I drop a song about it. You know what I mean? I write a book. You know, I gotta get it out there because you know, a lot of us go through situations that's book worthy and we never put this shit down on a book. We never put pen to paper and make them manifest that shit, you know, and it's a shame, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame that, you know, we don't ever really get our stories out there, man. A lot of us got novels in us, man. You know, you're 40 years old, 35, 40 years old, you know, you can't tell me you don't got a novel in you. Shit, you could have wrote a page a day for fucking, you know what I mean, 20 years and, you know what I mean, or 15 years and, you know, had a fucking novel in you or something. For real, man. That's the only thing they can't take away from you. That's what I'm noticing. Everybody else, when you look around in everyday life, things is crumbling around us. Things are crumbling around us, you know. A lot of us, you know, copper color people, you know, people of color, we don't get to see a full, you know, a full healthy career, a healthy life, or, you know, mature to what we really supposed to mature to be because we get caught up in these careers and we get caught up in life and things like that. But when you look at the fairer skinned people, the Caucasians, you know, our Caucasian counterparts and everything, that life is always plentiful and, you know, going well. I mean, not all the time, but more so than ours. And it seems like it's just designed that way or something, man. I don't know what it is. And I I love all my people. I'm Irish, Cuban, and Native American, you know. So I, I connect with, you know, all, and I just look and I watch how different races of people live life and everything. You know, and it's a beautiful thing to really not not have your life impeded on or fuck with in any type of way. But when you're when when you have Native American blood or I don't know what it is, man, it seems like they just want to, you know, put the squeeze on you. It seems like they just try to put the squeeze on your life, man. If you're a man in general, it's like they just want to put the squeeze on your fucking life, even some women. You know, we, we really got to be mindful of the company, company we keep. And, man, just strive to do better. You know, I'm just trying to really, I'm just out here trying to right any wrongs that I may have done. 
and I'm realizing the wrongs that has been done to me. You know, that's the main part. Fuck the wrongs I've done. Because the wrongs I've done, I ain't did to nobody else. The wrongs I've done, I did to myself. You know what I mean? But the wrongs that's been done to me is like, you hurt my kids, you hurt my family, you hurt my grandparents and shit like that. You know what I mean? And it's like, I, I can't go for that. You know, you can't, you can't just get past that. You know what I mean? With people. Even when you look back at past relationships and you look back at, you know, not just on some, you know, women, man, sexual type relationship, like relationships, period, like friend relationships, you know, uh, uh, friendly relationships, uh, 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 you know, relationships where you intimate with somebody, uh, you know, acquaintances or, or whatever the case, relationships with you dealing with anybody, period. It's like, who goes into that wanting to do wrong to somebody? You know what I mean? And that's what it seems like all the time. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, Return back to who I was with a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more wisdom. You know, return back to who I am is just, you know, really just being contained and, uh, you know, self-contained, basically. You know, that's how I got to be. That's how I got to be until I could really, you know, elevate and get to a better, a better place. You know, because to be honest with you, I, I really just want to get the fuck away from Philadelphia and get my get my kids away from Philadelphia. I want to take them to a, a better place to where they could live, grow and really appreciate life, you know, around more nature and things like that. Well, this has been my time. This is Mr. Pagan. Stay tuned for my promotional reel. Um, I had a blast. This has been God Concept. And yeah, have a great day. Hey, real quick, guys. This is Mr. Pagan here. Just want to let y'all know that I have books available on Amazon, Kindle, bookstores, and on your phones. I got two great titles available, and the third one coming soon. My philosophy is if you got a smartphone or a smart device, you already got my book in your hands. It's free for download if you got Kindle Unlimited. And it's five dollars otherwise. For uh One Leap of Faith is five bucks. And for my book Morals and Values is five twenty-five. Both of them are packed with insightful information on morals and values. And one leap of faith is to push you to to, to get on your grind for your goals. You know what I mean? Two powerful books. I got a thriller coming up called Moonlit Martians with a, a character, the protagonist is Marshall Cuts, and he's trying to uh, get his way, uh, he's trying to find his way out of Louisiana without getting himself uh, hurt or killed or something. This is a great suspenseful book. Please check it out. It's going to be on Amazon Kindle Store. Remember, both these books are available for free. One Leap of Faith and Morals and Value. you got Kim Do Unlimited. They're available for free. And also, don't forget to check out my game stream on YouTube, Gaming Vaping Guns. And on Twitch, I'm GVG215. All right? And also, my music streams on all streaming platforms. Whether you got Apple, is there. Whether you got Tidal, guess what? Is there listen on Spotify? Yeah, I'm on Spotify. This podcast is actually on Spotify, also the music. So yeah, we we well rounded. Everything that I'm doing is complimenting each other. So please support the movement, support my brand, support the positive energy that I'm putting out there. And you guys be blessed. May peace be with you.